Which of the following would be most directly affected by large population shifts between states? The U.S. House of Representatives, the U.S. Supreme Court, the President's Cabinet, or the United States Senate? Let's start by looking at the Supreme Court. There are nine justices, but they are nominated by the President and confirmed by the Senate. So population shifts, that's really our key term here, large, large population shifts between states. Nothing's going to affect the Supreme Court with that. Then we look at the Senate, and there's 100 members, and that's because the Constitution states that two senators must come from each state, and there are 50 states. So whether that state has two people, or 200 million people, or anything in between, they are still going to get the same number of senators. The Cabinet, well, the Cabinet is the same as the Supreme Court up here. It's nominated by the President and confirmed by the Senate, except for uh, the Vice President here. So currently there are 15 heads of the different main executive branches and the Vice President, and that forms the Cabinet. So again, nothing that a large population shift between the states is going to affect. Which leaves us with the House of Representatives. There are 435 members, and the number of representatives per state is proportionate to population. Proportionate. And that means that the more people in your state compared to another state, the higher number of representatives you will have. So the answer is A.